Hello, I'm Vincent. I'll be guiding you through the video for today. For today's agenda, I'll be giving you a brief introduction to TRM and what it is, how incident management is able to help resolve an IT incident, and lastly, a summary of what we have gone through. An IT incident can happen at any time, and we need to be prepared for such incidents. When an incident occurs, the primary objective is to restore normal IT service as quickly as possible following the incident and with minimal impact to the FI's business operations. Also, being able to maintain customer confidence throughout a crisis or an emergency situation is of great importance to the reputation and soundness of the FI. Developed by Monetary Authority of Singapore, Technology Risk Management or TRM, provide guidelines that addresses existing and emerging technology risks that will confront FIs. There are a total of 14 guidelines in TRM, but I'll be covering on incident management under guideline 7, subsection 7.3. And now, I will explain the steps on how incident management can help to resolve an IT incident. Firstly, we need to establish the roles and responsibilities of staff involved in the incident management process. The incident management process includes recording, analyzing, remediating, and monitoring. Secondly, we need to define the details of the incident. Details of the incident can include date and time of the incident, the type of incident, for example, cybersecurity, theft or loss of information, and outrage of IT system. And next, the actions or responses that have been taken by the institution. Thirdly, when recording such incidents, we will need to record it with the appropriate severity level. This will allow us to delegate the function of determining and assigning incident severity levels to a centralized technical help desk function. There are three category levels that can be defined. Category 1 are incidents that affect a critical system. Category 2 are incidents that occur on a system network that could put the critical system at risk. And category 3 are incidents that occur on a non-critical system. The criteria used for assessing severity levels of incidents should be established and documented. Do take note, it is important that the help desk staff is trained to discern incidents of high severity level. Fourthly, the FI should establish corresponding escalation and resolution procedures where the resolution time frame is commensurate with the severity level of the incident. Here is an overview of what will be covered in this section. Firstly, FI should form a computer emergency response team comprising of staff within the FI with necessary technical and operational skills to handle major incidents. Next, the senior management is to be kept updated of the development of major incidents so that the decision to activate a disaster recovery plan can be made on a timely basis. Lastly, MS is to be informed as soon as possible in the event that a critical IT system has failed over to a disaster recovery system but not later than one hour upon the discovery of a relevant incident. Next, establishing a predetermined action plan to address public relations issues. First, we should include in our incident response procedure a predetermined action plan to address the issue at hand. Next, we should keep customers informed of any major incident. The effectiveness of the mode of commission is then accessed. And lastly, Include informing the general public when necessary. And six, as incidents may stem from numerous factors, we should perform a root cause and impact analysis report, which we will need to submit to MES within 14 days. Created using Powtoon.